Hi and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to produce uh, good quality blood films every time. I'm going to show you two techniques to do, one of which is the one that is usually given over by textbooks. It's pretty much a gold standard but does tend to yield, particularly in inexperienced hands, some uh, dubious results sometimes. The second method I'm going to show you will be one that I actually use in a cytology laboratory to produce um, clinical samples, often very blood stained. It's quick, easy to do, and often gives me some very good results. Now for this practical, um, you're going to need very basic equipment. Two glass slides, one of which I've labelled up with slide, and that will be the one that I'm going to be using. The second piece is a little skin prick which you can use to obtain a blood sample. Um, these are very easily done. What you will do is you take your skin prick thing, twist the top and pull. That releases it. You then place it on your finger prick. I'm going to use, let's use this finger for a change. Ah, so let's, use, let's use this finger for a change. Uh, and push down. That puts a tiny needle giving you a drop of blood. You put that at the top of your slide. A bit much, but hey. And then placing the first slide on top of the second, touch the slide 45 degrees, let it filter along the entire base and then push. Uh, and that is what you get. A rather sort of bit bloody I'm afraid, but you get the idea that you've now got a nice thin blood film. The second method is just as easy. The same equipment, two slides and a skin prick. Uh, and you'll do exactly the same as usual. Twist the cap off um, and stab yourself. Here's one I made earlier, and what I'm going to do this time is I place the drop of blood um, directly in the centre of the slide. Then you place the other slide on top, let it rest and pull. And there you have foolproof 110% usable blood film.